Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, I just thought I would come on and have a little chat about um, my upcoming series for February. Feb well, for Feb. Oh God, <laughs> here we go. For February, that I'm going to do in February, that I'm calling hashtag February Jelly because I'm going to be using the jelly plate. Um, but just last night I thought I'm going to go on and do a, a little, you know, chat about it sort of thing because Aisha the artsy grandma she asked me was there anything could I tell her in advance if there was anything in um, particular that you know she needed she needed to buy well basically no <laughs> um, you obviously you'll need a jelly plate and um, and if you haven't got a bought one, you can make one. And this is why I thought I would come on. Because I I have made some. I haven't used them for a while, actually. I made these about four years ago, I think. And I have got a video showing you how to do them. But obviously, they're not my idea. I watched a lady, I believe, called... Pink Poodle Crafts is the person I watch, but that, I think there's loads now of different tutorials. Um, but they're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, I will leave the link to the video that I did. And all I will say is just don't take any notice of my... Um, <laughs> Of my vigorous whisking in it because uh, I was whisk, 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 and it was all frothy. And I was going, Oh, god, it's all frothy, but that doesn't, if it goes frothy, it doesn't matter because um, uh, that ended up being on the bottom anyway. And if you don't like it, if it's not thick enough, or if it's too thick, or whatever, all you do is just remelt it, you know, like these, these won't do in again. Um, but yeah but they're, they're such fun so I'm gonna stop talking about that now but you can do them whatever shape you want and they don't need refrigerating or anything they don't mine haven't gone moldy because they've got the glucose in which I believe is like um antibacterial thing or something the sugar in it I don't know but anyway, I'll leave the link to that if anybody's interested. Uh, I'll tell you where I get the glucose from and that. But yeah, they, they are fun and you can do them in whatever shapes you like. I have got a big tin that I'd intended doing a great big jelly plate, but I've never got round to doing that. I don't even know where the tin is now. But yeah, so that was that. Um, and just a, a brayer. I mean, I do, I've already done some videos for this series and I do sort of speak about those a bit, but it's just something last night I thought I'd come on and do a, a pre-series thing. So some sort of Brea, which I've mentioned loads of times before. I didn't buy a Brea. This is a, a lino roller because they're just the same thing, but they're like a third of the price. And that one was actually... This one was more expensive than that one, but they're only three or four pounds. So you need one of those to roll it. I mean, I suppose you could use a, a store card or something to put the paint on, but generally you use those. And then just your mark making things. Now, this series again, I'm just going, it's just going to be me basically playing. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to teach anybody anything. Um, it's a long time, it well, seems to be a long time since I've done it and in the few videos that I have done for this series I'm like yeah well what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'd sort of forgotten <laughs> but it's just fun so uh, it will be all the same anybody that's been joining in the 31 days of easy peasy painty papers just save all them bits and bobs that you've been using um, I mean I've got I've just been trying to set this camera up uh, to show you down here but I can't it's just I haven't got a great big tripod or anything so I'm just going to have to get the bits out but I've got a great big box full of 
just all sorts of just fine things just look around for anything that will make a pattern because we're obviously going to put the paint on the jelly plate and then you know press these in and then you can use that as a stamp oh it's such a lot of fun i mean bits of circles on bits of foam or bits of card and any sort of thing that will make a mark look the, the folded that's one of my favorite things to use along with bubble wrap that's a, a um, teflon pan stand don't think that works very much not a stand a, a grabber thing that was a piece of it looks like a coaster doesn't it i think it was a it probably was a coaster from i think that was from poundland bits of well, packaging and uh, foam and uh, oh just anything anything that you can make marks with basically and that's just one little bag full i've even got this look this was um old thing off of a top a topperware a topperware tub i don't know what happened to the tub but i got that left and that makes good marks so i've even got this brush that was if you know a drummer <laughs> um, that makes marks i've got what else is in here oh all sorts of you know your bubble wraps I've got a big bubble wrap and a small bubble, well, medium bubble wrap. I've only got two sizes of bubble wrap. This, this is um, a sink drainer. I did buy this. This was from Poundland. And that is great for sprays. I don't know whether I've actually used that on my jelly plate. You know, fruit nets and all the stuff that I showed you in. This is a good mark making thing don't know what it was from but some sort of food packaging i believe am i recording oh yes um you know laces and doilies and anything paper doilies i've got paper doilies somewhere i was tidying the drawers out the other day pastry cutters don't think i've ever used those as pastry cutters so they've gone in my stash of stuff. Oh, because I'm doing the uh, the decluttering thing for January. Excuse me. I knew there was something I was going to mention in yesterday's video, and that was it. Uh, nothing to do with what I'm talking about here. But the uh, where do they live? Put them in there. Yeah, the decluttering thing I'm getting on ever so well, starting with January the 1st. If you've not heard of it, you, you declutter one thing and it goes on until on day 31, you get rid of 31 things. Well, I'm well in advance. I've done uh, well, all I've got left to do is 12 things of day 25 and day 27. So 27 things. I started at sort of the beginning of the month. I thought, what kind of... Oh, magazines. I've got loads of the craft magazines. And you can't keep them forever, can you? And I ended up using... There's over a 100. I used days 28, 29, 30 and 31 of magazines that are all be donated to the charity shop. Somebody else will get use of them. So that's what I wanted to say yesterday. And that's when I found those stars... Sorry, went off track then. You know, bits of lace, other bits of lace. There's, just spotted this. Bit of, well, either toilet roll, this is kitchen roll tube. Make marks with, you can squish that down and, you know, make like a, well, anything, any mark. You can make a heart with them, can't do it at the minute, but you can make like a heart shape or anything, anything that you can make marks with. Knives, forks, <laughs> uh, what else have I got? I'm just trying to give you ideas for anybody that's not done this sort of thing. I've got a bag full here, I really need to go through some of this stuff. Bag full here of circles and that have been cut out and you know if you've got if you've got die cuts just save the excess and you know the outy bits leaf shapes and all all those sorts of things um or punches you know or you could just rip 
rip patterns in paper in card or something you do have to be a little bit careful and don't leave them on your paint too long because they stick believe it or not but if you've got something you especially like you could give it a coat of mod podge or some sort of sealer to get, make it a bit stronger or do it with um, like that, that is cereal box if you use the shiny side it, it wouldn't you might actually even get the print of the shiny side on your paper but there's, there's all sorts of things um, What's that? Oh, I just credit cards. You know, this stuff that I used in the painty series. Anything. Um, these are textured wallpapers. And if you haven't got textured wallpapers, but you have got embossing folders, you can you know cut yourself some pieces out with your embossing folders to use as <coughs> excuse me or, you know press it on your jelly plate and then you can press the that onto your paper as well and yeah so that was sort of there's a lot more stuff here more meshes look and mesh different meshes from things corrugated card another bit of a, i'm not really sure what that was it looks like sink drainer thing i don't know really can't remember where these came from um and bubble wrap oh getting really hot now Ooh, just, had a, just a minute need to take my scarf off when we're having a hot moment oh that's the first for a long time crikey Ooh. uh Yes, so that's it really. Oh, well, hang on a minute. I've got another bag full down here that if you've been watching the Painty Paper series, then you'll have seen this, just making your handmade, homemade stamps out of, well, this is like a, what is it called? Styrofoam? Polystyrene? Polystyrene is it? Styrofoam, something like that and just make whatever shapes this was a, a pattern off of one of our curtains kitchen curtains that i just thought oh that's an interesting pattern and just go round it with a pen or a you know a marquee tool and as i mentioned in the, another video i first saw how to do those sort of stamps make your own from kelly donovan's channel long long time ago uh, and these are all what I've put through the embossing folder. That one isn't. I just handed that. I think it's meant to be buttons or something. So I don't think you can see it. Oh, yeah. It's just cardboard through the embossing folder. That was a, the foam thing that I'd done. They've been through the embossing folder. Again, I've got a great big bag full of stuff down here. I've even somewhere is that in? oh here we are on 13 minutes oh my god now I've even got <laughs> these I don't know who I watched but I watched somebody several years ago making their own like stencils if you like with uh hot glue so of course I'm like oh well, I've got to have a go at that mine didn't I don't know I've not used them a lot and I can't think whether I have used them on the jelly plate, but watch this space. You might be seeing that in a while. But yeah, you just get your hot glue. You want, a, a, you know, some sort of heat proof mat. I probably use this one. It's like an oven liner. And just, you know, go round with your hot glue and then press it down with another heat proof mat to like flatten it down. But I don't think mine's gone quite flat enough I don't know it looks like I have used them that one I haven't but so that's another idea if you wanted to have a <coughs> plem there's loads of videos I I just can't remember who I first saw do that 
there's those we'll have to have a go with those won't we and i'll be interested if any of you have already done these and you've got any advice for me <laughs> let me know please but yes yeah, so that's that is um well just a little chat about that i won't i don't know whether i've already said this bit i won't be doing any um you know fancy techniques or anything because uh, again it's just sort of i suppose for anybody that's just sort of starting out and uh, you know i class myself as still learning with the uh, with the jelly plate um but it, it it is a lot of fun you never know what you're gonna get and it, it's just fun and you know you can build keep building the layers up and until you're happy with it or sometimes with a lot of mine I just like one layer and I'm like I love that I'll leave that as that <laughs> uh, I've done day five and I, I really like what I've done on day five so um, I don't know whether I've said this either but I don't know how many days I'm going to be doing it for I just don't know Mr Doodles actually he's got this next week off of work bless him uh, the doctor said that his his knee, the, the, they x-rayed it and there's no torn ligaments or anything. It's just his arthritis and, you know, old age and weight and all the rest of it. So he's decided to have the rest of the week off because he was going to have Thursday and Friday anyway. So I sort of talked him into <laughs> having the the rest I thought well you could do with it you know and he could do with a rest and it's just a bit silly going back to work having to heave himself up into the lorry because you can't do it without putting pressure on your knee so yeah so I I um I don't know what, where I was going with that yeah I don't know how many videos I will get done for the series this week but um just and I, I'm, I really am winging it winging it more than the painty paper series just winging it <laughs> but it's fun i'm enjoying it so i hope if you haven't got a jelly plate and you don't want to buy one that you'll be able to get the um the gelatin powdered gelatin basically in the sachets although i have mr doodle did get me some loose gelatin but uh, um, powdered gelatine and I haven't got any here to show you because I don't think I've got any left liquid glucose which I got from Boots I believe but if you watch that video it'll, it'll tell you there but yeah I, I would definitely say have a go because even if it I can't see why it wouldn't turn out uh, you know if you do it and you think oh that's a bit sloppy then just melt it down again and have another go and you know it might set firmer or add a bit more gelatine you know don't don't throw it away just well don't think i had any problems I, I can't really remember to be honest but the video will tell you anyway and i'm talking a load of twaddle now so i better go i suppose i just said to mr doodle i'm gonna go up and do some painting and i thought i won't i'll do this video um just to i can't think that there was anything else but yeah so to answer your question asian no there's nothing you know you will need that but even if you don't want to haven't got a jelly plate don't want to make one you could always try on i don't know i don't know what other i'm sure other people think oh well, i'm not you know i'm not buying that i'll try something else i don't know whether it would work if you just did it on a, a sheet but you people are clever you'll work it out you will work it out but i would definitely recommend making these because they're brilliant i mean these have been made you know three or four years and i have melted them down um i do usually give the, these a bit of a wipe but it'd be all right you know and then i could melt them down into different shapes if i wanted to oh got an itchy eye or I've just thought of something oh, those stars that i just showed you 
yeah I've seen think I've seen people do them with I don't know whether that would work you know different cutters and that uh -oh. something's telling me that Amy from Aljon has done made different shapes and she used cookie cutters I think but anyway there are loads of videos out there and got Pinterest and yeah so right on that note I'm going to go I love you and leave you and enjoy the rest of your what day are we on Sunday have I just said it's snowing here again I thought it was thawing it, it didn't snow all day yesterday and then this morning it seemed to have gone a bit but now it's snowing again but and I've got to have a walk up to the post box at some time today so I'm not looking forward to that it's our granddaughter's birthday on the 1st of February and she won't be home she's away at university in Coventry so I need to get up the post box and it's only just at the top of the road but I'm like oh I don't like it I just don't like it <laughs> Ooh. anyway Take care everyone, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing if any of you want to join in this little, next little series in February. So take care, bye!